In this video, we're going to talk about some common mistakes people make with calculators um, when doing the quadratic formula. Um, this is specifically a lesson for people that are taking Cambridge Math in the United States. However, uh, it is certainly valid for anything. Uh, for Cambridge Math, you're allowed to use this calculator. And the way different calculators are programmed, um, sometimes they change the order of operations. But um, for this calculator, um, one of the most common mistakes is in using the order of operations. So the other mistake is people rounding too soon. So we're going to do this one, talk about how to avoid this mistake, and then we're going to talk about how to avoid this mistake. And we're going to do it with this problem. So it says solve to the second decimal place um, this equation right here. So um, let's see here. x equals using the quadratic formula, the opposite of 6, plus or minus, so that's 36 plus 32 over 2. So this is 68. So x equals 6 plus or minus 68 over 2. Right? Um, now from here, a lot of times people don't even consider if this is something that can be simplified. Let's see. Uh, 4 doesn't go into it, so I would just stop there anyway, uh, since I'm going to be using my calculator. So, let's see here. Let's see if I can get the, the whole thing to be shown. Right. So, there we go. Hope those numbers can be sh seen. So, I'm going I'm to go ahead and enter it wrong. I'm going to enter it just like I would read it. So, 6 plus the square root of 68 divided by 2. And this is incorrect. See, I get 10.12. And that's wrong. And the reason it's wrong is, if you look, the only thing that's being divided by 2 is the square root of 68, not the 6. See? So what I actually typed in right here, what I typed in was, I typed in 6 plus the square root of 68 divided by 2, which is different. This numerator is in a group, so somehow you have to account for that. Um, here's, here's one method. You could say 6 plus the square root of 68 equals, and then take your answer, divide that by 2. Because then it does this calculation in the numerator first. Well, to the first decimal place would be 1, 2. Um, so that's one answer. Another way you could do it, I'm going to do that for the, I'm going to do the other method for the negative part because you have a plus or minus. So the other way you could do it, you could do it with some parentheses to create a group. So 6 minus the square root of 68. Close parentheses. So I've got one parentheses here that's for the square root and the other is for the group I've made. Divide that entire group by 2. And the other answer you get is x equals negative 1.123. So that's x equals negative 1.212. Uh, sorry. So here are our two solutions. Okay. Now the other common mistake people make is in rounding too soon. So we had we had 6 plus or minus the square root of 68 divided by 2. What a lot of people do is they'll often say that the square root of 68, oh, well, that's the square root of 68 is 8.246. So that'd be 8.25. Correct, to the second decimal place. So then what they do is they do this math right here 6 plus 8.25 over 2. 6 plus or minus. So doing our plus right here. 6 plus 8.25 equals, divided by 2 equals, 7.125, which would round to 1.3. And then they would do the, the minus, they would say 6 minus 8.25 equals, divided by 2 equals, negative 1.125, which would round to 1.3. These are both wrong. 
they are not correct to the second decimal place, these are. And the mistake that's made is the square root of 68 is not 8.25. The square root of 68 is close to this, but it's actually an irrational number, and this decimal will continue without repeating or terminating. So this is a huge rounding that's occurred here, from here. Okay? So the mistake is, do not do it this way. Do not round first, then do the arithmetic and round again. Round only once at the very end. Your last step is the rounding. I hope this video helps. Um, leave me some comments. Please subscribe. And good luck. Have a good day.